A lot of people don't know that, you know, your father did create a big brand on Green Street. Yeah. You know, Domini's? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so it's a, a woman's clothing brand? So it has my grandmother's name, yeah. Okay, so, so yeah. when was that developed? So tell us the in, history behind it. Okay, so, well, my my family, my father's side had a big electronic store in Iraq, um, equivalent, well, a bit less than Samsung, but were all over Iraq. And then the war came and guys obviously go into history but they forced them out my dad and my mum and my grandma sorry came here started a small clothes shop saved up money my dad then bought a petrol station on the corner how did your dad buy a petrol station over many years of working hard him and his <laughs> him, him and his mum like just selling whatever they could really and I don't know how they it was obviously a lot of money back then but now if you said oh that's not that much yeah. but saved up a lot a lot of money bought the petrol station didn't touch it because he didn't have any money to to develop it so he had to go out sell more trade more and now he's built it into like a five-story building and probably the most iconic building on Green Street so yeah yeah so when was Darmany's first open I believe 1980. 1980. Yeah. And what made that so successful? I think my dad and my grandma were so driven because um, their family built the the great brand of the electronic store. So they always had that inside them and always wanted to create the best. So they were traveling to India for the designs and the materials and really just wanted to create such a unique kind of niche market for like the lovely wedding clothes party clothes which nothing no one else in green street really matched Dam Darmany's. so yeah they they developed they developed a fantastic brand and having stores all over like uk and in new york so yeah it was cool wow and what's happening with that brand at the moment it's still around so in when i left school at 17 unfortunately my dad uh, wasn't very well got an extremely rare illness called amyloidosis. I think no more than a few tens of thousand people have it in the in the world. So that kind of forced us to close the department store down, but we made it into a shopping mall. So we've got many tenants in there now who do their own trades and sell their own clothing, restaurants, etc. But in hindsight, it's probably the best thing ever because after COVID, people just switched to online same as people don't really go to the office anymore. So a lot of it's done online and we've got a much more, my dad's got a much more relaxed lifestyle of just handling the rent, etc. Instead of buying, selling, picking designs, staff, stock, it's... it's so he's normal. now the landlord. Exactly. Getting passive income. And it's probably the best decision he's ever done. Yeah. A lot of the time, like growing up, is my dad didn't have anyone. It was him and his mum. And I was in between my mum's house and my dad's house if they're separated in a massive house. My dad, he's, he loved being at work. So it, his life really wasn't that like filled with family and friends because the more you have, I feel, the the more people turn on you. And my dad maybe has three people that are close to him mm -hmm. outside his wife and myself, or maybe even less. And yeah, so only in the past few years he's become really happy because one the stress of the retail is massive headache and yeah so going back to your original question i get a lot of stick for it yeah i mean i haven't done anything like for my dad to earn the fortune or his success what he's done but a lot of people are like oh you've got it easy i get it all the time it's just my dad's work super hard nothing i can do about it he came from a war-torn country and created such a great success. I mean, uh, there's no one I could be prouder uh, of. Mum's always been there to help and support me. I'm just trying to build upon that and make it into even more massive success. So, yeah. Just Is that even to... harder to do, you feel? Honestly, probably not, because I have so much knowledge. I'm so fortunate, more than anything, to have my dad's part of him in me, in the mindset and being able to talk to these people, for example, I've now, last six months ago, I formed a company to take over Pad in the UK called R3 Sport. My business partner is one of the most well-known uh, people in the UK, really ultra-successful entrepreneur, one of the richest families. And he's obviously seen me and seen I'm capable. And that's obviously because of what my mum and dad have taught me. But that that is 
like for me that I've done well to do that to be able to put myself in that position and being part of the Great Britain team that doesn't really come from one of my dad's created but yeah it's always tough like getting all these comments and all that but there's nothing I can do I'm just mm. super proud of my dad and there's many people in my position or even like mega mega wealthy who just throw it all away so yeah